Welcome to my la dear Ned. Remember Sally McDonald, the woman who took those photos that Dad has up in his office? Well, she just bought a house in Moon Lake, Pennsylvania. A gangster named Mickey Malone built it back in the 20s as his country getaway. We're talking major fixer-upper. Anyway, last night Sally called and she said she desperately needed my detective skills. She refused to say why over the phone. Naturally, I said I'd drive to Moon Lake immediately. But weird things started happening the moment I pulled up. First, this big tree fell down behind my car and has me totally blocked in. And then I discovered that Sally's gone. She left a note that suggested something terrible happens here at night. She's supposed to call me from her car. So here I sit, writing to you while I wait for the phone to ring. It's nighttime, and although part of me is dying to know what frightened Sally away, another part of me is starting to feel a little uneasy. I'll let you know what happens. Ever yours, Nancy. Hello? Nancy, hi, it's Sally. We have to talk fast because I'm in my car and my cell phone's running low, so we might get cut off. But did you see my note? Yes, are you all right? No, I feel awful bailing on you like that. You must think I'm such a flake. I'm just worried about you. What's wrong? I couldn't stand the thought of spending another night there. I knew you were on your way, but it didn't help. I just got too scared. What's to be scared of? It's so peaceful and quiet here. Just wait until it gets dark. Then you'll see. What am I saying? Nancy, you shouldn't be there by yourself either. Why don't you just go get in your car and go home? Or drive to Philadelphia. My aunt's got plenty of room. No way. You've got me so curious, I wouldn't leave even if I could. What do you mean? A tree fell down behind my car just as I was driving up to the house. I'm blocked in. Oh, the dead maple beside the driveway. Oh, they told me it was in danger of falling over when I had the place inspected. I just never got around to doing anything about it. Listen, call M's Emporium. That's a store on the lake. Emily knows everybody. She'll know who to call if she decides to answer her phone. It's late. Won't the store be closed? Where's my brain? Okay, look. I just bought a little outboard motorboat. I haven't used it yet, but the guy who put it in for me said it should run just fine. It's tied up at the dock out front. Just get in it and go. Go anywhere. Just get away from the house. I can't just take off in your boat. It's pitch black outside. Then listen to me. Go around the house and lock all the doors and windows. Do that right now. There aren't any locks on the doors and windows. What are you so afraid of? The dogs! Those dogs! Out of nowhere! They're outside howling and snarling! Teeth and claws! Horrible! Dogs? Hello? Did you say dogs? Hello? What is that? It's stuck. I need some sandpaper. Something's out there. Now look what you've done. That was a Strix Varia. At least I think it was. Never know for sure now, will I? Who are you? My name's Red Knot. And if you've got a volume knob, I'd appreciate your taking it down a notch before you scare away everything from here to Lancaster. I'm Nancy Drew. What were all those boozes out here just now? That was me, Miss Nancy Drew, calling in birds. And doing a pretty good job of it, too, till you showed up. Where'd you come from, anyway? I'm staying here in the old Malone place. Now, why would you want to do a thing like that? The Malone house is no place for one young woman, let alone two. What do you know about the woman living here? I talked to her a couple of times. But you know, the last time I saw her, she wasn't doing so good. She acted real anxious, scared. Did she say what was wrong? The dogs. The dogs of Mickey Malone. Legend goes that when Malone was finally arrested and hauled away, his four dogs went running off into the woods and were never seen again. People would just hear them, howling like their hearts were broken every night until one by one, they all died and went silent. But every time someone tries living in the Malone house, back they come. Are you saying Sally's house is haunted by ghost dogs? Every night, ever since she moved in, you could hear them howling. And some nights, the dogs would appear outside the house, running around, snarling and barking and throwing themselves at the doors and windows. And then, they'd be gone. They're buried in the cemetery just beyond the house, you know. Them and Malone, both. Did they ever attack Sally? She never gave them the chance. After the first attack, she stopped going out at night. Just locked the doors when it got dark and sat tight until morning. The dogs would attack her house? It's like they don't want anybody but Malone living there. I guess they don't know he's dead. And so are they. 
Did she ever call the police? This is a New York City, Miss Nancy Drew. All they got around here is one officious little park ranger. And all Jeff Akers does is sit around all day trying to figure out how he can get himself transferred out of here to a bigger park. Do you live close by? I just come to Moon Lake in the spring to look for birds. Got an observation platform just up the path, kind of my base camp, and I've got a little outboard down there on the lake. Left my car at the big dock up lake. Don't really need it. Are those the ghost dogs? Yes, ma'am. Which is why I think it would be a good idea if I went my merry way and you got yourself back inside that house. One more thing. The water in Sally's well needs to be tested. How do I do that? Get a sampling kit from Jeff Akers. Ranger stations on the east side of the lake. Good luck, Miss Nancy Drew. This is not good. must be Red's observation platform. A face only a gnome could love. It's locked. Oh, the key broke off. There's got to be another way to get this open. I gotta have some torque. The boat's full of water. Looks like paw prints. The spark plug is missing. The spark plug is missing. I gotta have some torque. Well, it's Miss Nancy Drew. Please, just call me Nancy. I will if you keep your voice down. I just heard a cerulean warbler. Did you say last night that you have an outboard motorboat? Sure do. Only type of motorized vehicle that's allowed on Moon Lake. Heck, if it were up to me, I'd ban them too. Have everybody get around by canoe. Nothing like the threat of physical activity to keep tourists away. You're not exactly a people person, are you? I came to see birds, not people. The more people there are in a forest, the fewer birds there are. It's a fact of life. Reason I like to come here is because nobody else does. It's perfect. Not a decent grocery store, restaurant, or motel for miles. There's no place nearby that sells boat parts? Sally's outboard is missing a spark plug. I might be able to help you out. After all, I was a Boy Scout. Be prepared. <laughs> You mean you have a spark plug I could buy? Well, just so happens I've got two spark plugs right here in my pocket. Question is, if I give you one, what do I get for it? I don't need cash, but maybe you could take a few pictures for me. Know how to use a digital camera? Sure. What would you like me to take pictures of? Birds, of course. There's a couple of birds I'm supposed to take pictures of for Pepsob. That's people for the preservation and study of birds. You can recognize them by their songs, which are on this tape, which you can play on my cassette player, which you're going to have to get from M's Emporium as soon as you get your boat fixed. <laughs> Think you can handle that? Sounds good. Here's everything you'll need. M's Emporium is up lake on the west side. Not that I'm trying to get you out of my hair or anything, but try not to come pestering me till you're done, okay? One more thing. You smoke? Uh, only when I'm on fire. Oh, you're a spunky one, aren't you? Well... These woods may not look it, but they're tinder dry. One lit match, and the best bird habitat on the east coast will go up in smoke. So watch what you do. Because if anything like that happens, I won't be looking for birds anymore. I'll be looking for you. Watch yourself out there. <laughs> 